here we have a young barn old chick, a three and a half week old chick. Uh, up to now, we don't know whether it's male or female. Uh, not that it makes any difference to the bird at this stage, because all he wants is to be fed and kept warm and to be nurtured. But it is important to know whether your bird is a male or female. Um, even from the point of view of giving it a name, if nothing else. Uh, so, a DNA sampling came along with modern times. Um, I have used it. I'm a great believer in it. But I'm also very traditional. And 50 years ago, when I was a kid, or 50 plus, I used to always sex my own turkey chicks um, in the old-fashioned way. So I'm going to show you, and I was never wrong. That, that was another point that I want to say, that the old-fashioned way of checking the gender of a bird was always accurate, um, and as accurate as the DNA sampling. What some of you may or may not know is that the pull of gravity of the male and female hormones, be it bird or mammal, is very, very different. The pull of gravity of the male hormone follows a linear pull of gravity. And the pull of gravity of the female hormones emulates the shape of the ovary, goes in a circular form. So if I want to check the sex of this bird, I use something that's going to allow me to enable the pull of gravity. So I'm using a silver object, there's my old wedding ring, and I'm using a piece of string. And before any of you switch off and say, oh wow, this fella is mad, or witch, I'm neither, <laughs> I think. Uh, no, I'm not, because this, uh, this has always worked for me. So my trusty cameraman here beside me is going to zoom in as I hold the ring over the board. So what I'm doing is I'm going to bring the ring over the back of the board. So if you see what I'm doing, I'm just lowering the ring down on the piece of string, letting it rest on the back of the board where the re reproductive system will is developing currently and will be. Let the ring settle and then gradually pull up, nice and slowly, keeping your hand very, very steady. And if my cameraman moves up the camera, he'll see that my hand is completely steady. And back down onto the ring. And as I move the ring up, in a few seconds, the ring will pick up the pull of gravity and start to move. And there we have it. And as you can see from that movement, it's following a very definite linear pull of gravity. That's a very, very strong pull from back to forth. There is nothing suggestive of a circular shape. Can you move in on that cameraman? And as I pull up higher, the pull of gravity gets stronger. Now that is definitely a male chick. And as I pull up higher again, the tug of gravity, now that it's attached, gets even stronger. So there we have it. So that is a male barn old chick. Let me just zoom out and have a look at that face. Look at him, he's so handsome. And soon he'll be getting a very handsome male name, something very butch. Thanks for watching.